Hi, I'm Erica. Welcome to my channel. Do all that YouTube stuff down below and let's get going. So today we are going to be talking about e.l.f. skincare products. I have a big collection of stuff that I've been trying out recently, stuff that I've tried out in the past, and just kind of go over it with you and let you know what I thought of it and if it's worth buying. So uh, let's just get into it. Uh, first up, we have the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This retails for $8.00. This is an okay moisturizer. Um, on the website, it's rated 4.1 out of 5 stars. Um, and all this, that's coming from the Alpha website. It's nothing special. Um, the price is, is okay for $8. But, you know, is it something that I'm going to go back and repurchase again and again and again? Probably not so much. Um, you know, if I just need something cheap, sure, absolutely. But I have so many other options that I just don't feel a need for this. Um, next, let's see. Oh, the Illuminating Eye Cream. I don't have that anymore. But that is something I would definitely repurchase uh, if I was to run out of any kind of eye creams. But I have them in more than I need at the moment. So, uh, but there's, it's $10 and it's rated 3.9 out of 5 stars on the website. It works great. Um, I had no complaints about it. It's a nice thick formula and it, I would absolutely repurchase that. Uh, next up is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. This stuff is really, really cool and it smells amazing. It smells like creamsicle. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? <laughs> you can see I have just about finished this container which is a little disappointing because the cost on this is $24, which is getting up there for an e.l.f. product for sure. But it comes with the um, little magnet thing and you put it on your face and then you just rub your rub the magnet over your face and it takes off the entire mask and it works amazing. Um, I wanted, I had my husband try it, try it out. Um, just so you feel how cool it felt when you're removing it, because it kind of tingles when you're rubbing the magnet all over your face. So I put it on him and I walked away, you know, because I was gonna, you know, let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't gonna waste my product. I figured, his, you know, his face could be a little softer. So, um, and then you know, I got distracted with my daughter, and you know, then I started climbing into bed, and he yells, "Are you gonna come take this off my face?" I was like, "Oh yeah." So I went out there and I, I took it off and he agreed it did feel very cool and then he rubbed his forehead he's like my forehead is really soft. So this stuff works amazing absolutely would recommend it and they sell refills now for $14 so you don't have to rebuy the magnet which is nice but you can only get the refills currently on the website which then means you're also paying the $6 for shipping so hopefully they'll release that to Target as well sometime soon. Next is the Pore Tone Balm. This is really cool. Um, if you, especially if you you travel a lot, because this isn't a liquid, so it's a toner that you can take with you uh, as a carry-on. It's six dollars, and I honestly can see a huge difference when I wear this in the morning under my makeup versus when I don't. So it works very well. The smell is really refreshing. It's not overpowering. And for $6, absolutely, and it has a 4 out of 5 star on the e.l.f. website. Um, next, the Pore Clearing Glitter Peel Off Mask. I talked about this in my um, Glam Glow video, and I talked about you know the glitter mask and how I hadn't tried this yet, but I wanted to. And how this actually has more skincare in it than the Glam Glow Glitter Mask. And honestly, uh, as far as, you know, Instagram ability, I honestly, I think this is way, way better for Instagram. And it's only $8. And it has a, but it has a 2 out of, 2.6 out of 5 star rating on the e.l.f. website. And the, and I can, I, I completely understand that rating. It works. It does. Uh, the first time I got it off my face, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, you could immediately feel that my skin was softer. You know, I woke up the next morning and things that I had been having problems with were gone. This stuff is painful to get off of your face. So if you are sensitive to that kind of thing, absolutely not for you. The first time I tried it, I had some breakouts down my neck. 
And so I had put it all the way down my neck. And when I started trying to peel it off my neck, I was in tears because it hurt so bad. And then um, it, I had gotten a little too close to my hairline, which, you know, it warns you don't get too close to your hairline. <sighs> and yeah, that was painful. So then I used it again. And the next time I was more careful about the placement of it and where it went. So I you know, made sure to stick nice and tight to the center part of my face. Um, a couple little spot treatments on the neck. And that was it. And it was still, still pretty painful. So the third time I used it, I um, followed the instructions. <laughs> Which is, you know, one of those things that you should do all the time. But, you know, especially for masks and stuff like that, you know, we all, we put them on and then we start running around the house and doing laundry or making dinner or whatever. And we completely forget about it. We don't set timers. So this one says that you're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes. So I put it on. I set my timer for 30 minutes and I was really careful. Kept it just to the inner part of my face. And it still was painful as hell to get off. So does it work? Yes. Is it painful as a mother, yes. So if you cannot handle that, absolutely not for you. If you want to pick it up for eight bucks for Instagram, go for it. Um, I mean, it's going to make your skin better. It's got charcoal, it's got witch hazel, it's got lavender, so it's going to calm your skin. It's going to shrink your pores and charcoal, it just, charcoal is proven to clear impurities and that is really high up on the ingredient list in this. So it works. It's just, you got to, you got to know your pain tolerance for that. Um... The Daily Facial Cleanser, 3.8 out of 5 stars. It's $4. It's a facial cleanser. There's nothing special about it. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. It's, it didn't make an impression on me at all. It cleaned my face. I've got a lot of things that clean my face. I've got things that clean my face better. I, I have things that clean my face deeper. And even for four dollars, I would, you know, my I've mentioned before my favorite um, skin cleanser is the Biore charcoal cleanser, so I just I don't need this. Um, tools Elf has a lot of really cool skin tools, and this is one of them. This is the pore refining brush and mask tool. It's five dollars, and all it is is a silicone um, paddle. You can find these on Amazon and other places, and. These are going to be about the same price. I think you can get a set of these for like 12 bucks on Amazon. But the one side is the paddle, and then the but the other side is a pore refining refining brush. And this is really good if you have, suffer from dry lips, to run it over your lips, and it'll help with um, getting all the gross stuff off your lips. If you have a really bad pimple, you put some treatment on there and just rub it in, and it'll help get that treatment into the pimple and get rid of it quicker. And this is also really great um, if you have any kind of moisturizers that are in a jar so instead of digging your hands in there to get it out you just put the silicone brush on and splash it all over your face so I use this pretty much on a daily basis whether it's for my masks or if I'm using a moisturizer is for five dollars I absolutely would repurchase that the elf beauty shield this stuff is sixteen dollars again getting up there for elf it is rated 4.3 out of 5 stars. I have been using this now consistently for a few weeks, and it is really good. Um, it's a vitamin C pollutant prevention serum. I live in Northwest Indiana, which is one of the most polluted areas in the entire country, thanks to the steel mills and Chicago. So the pollution prevention really spoke to me, but my skin has gotten so much brighter. My under eyes, so much brighter. It's amazing. I would absolutely repurchase this um, in a heartbeat. Uh, next up is the e.l.f. Fighting Spot Gel with Aloe. I talked about this in my Dollar Tree haul video. Because uh, you can get these at Dollar Tree. They're a dollar and they're amazing. You get a breakout, you pop it <laughs> um, if you want. You don't have to. But you just rub, rub this on over it and it will be gone by morning. It, and I mean, it's just, it's just silic acid. That's all it is, but it's in a nice convenient roller. It's convenient to have. It's convenient to pack. And I absolutely rebuy those again and again and again and again. Uh, the next item I don't have, but I've used before, and that is the exfoliating scrub for $5. I actually saw these the other day at Marshall's, and I was, I was almost going to pick it up. And then I just remembered, 
no, I don't need it because one, um, I'm testing out some exfoliators for another video that I have coming up. And two, which is actually relate, kind of related to the video I have coming up, um, the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, it's my holy grail. It's my favorite exfoliator. It's, it's a little more than $5, I believe, but I think that you can get like the generic store brand. CBS has a store brand of it. Target has a store brand of it. Walgreens has a store brand of it, and they're all completely fine, just like the original. But it's it's the best, and the Elf one just it didn't make an impact for me, and I wouldn't repurchase it. But it does have 4.3 stars out of five on the website. Uh, next is the Elf Moisturizing Sleep Mask. This has a 4.1 out of five stars on the website, and I have a little bit of it left. Uh, but when I started getting seriously into my skincare, about, uh, it'll be a year in July, so about nine months ago, I, this was one of the first sleep masks that I bought. And when I first started using it, I was like, mm, I don't really think it's very, doing very much. I was expecting to have to get up in the morning because I had been using other sleep masks, like the Nugs and the Sephora brand ones. And when I used those, when I got up in the morning, I would have to actually like wash my face again because I still have stuff on my face. And I wasn't finding that with the Elf one, and actually one of these reviews is mine, and I remember rating it pretty low, but I kept using it because obviously, you know, going on spending $4 every time you want um, a sleep mask is kind of ridiculous. So I, you know, I used it when I didn't have any of my Sephora ones or whatever laying around, and I hadn't found a really good jar one that I had liked yet because I was just getting into the whole Korean skincare thing. And... Then I, but I, as I used it more and more and more, and as my skin got better and better and better, I realized that I was having to get up in the morning and I was having to wash it off. What was happening was my skin was soaking it all in because my skin was so bad. Well, it wasn't bad, but you know, you know what I mean. So now, now that I had some moisture in my skin, it wasn't sucking it up anymore. So would I repurchase this one now? Absolutely not. Um, I love my honey potion. That is my sleep mask. That is my go-to. If I was going to purchase another one to try, it would probably be the watermelon mask. Um, but if you are not interested in spending $45 to $60 on a sleep mask uh, for $12, absolutely um, is a perfectly fine mask. Ah. <sighs> The Elf Hydrating Bubble Mask. Uh, I feel like the bubble mask craze kind of came and went, but hydrating is my problem with this one. Um, it's $14 and it is 4.3 out of 5 stars on the Elf website. I don't find it hydrating, but I do find it very uh, deep cleaning. So when I just kind of need that extra, you know, just you know, feeling, a, you know, been out sweating all day or whatever. I will go for this and I absolutely love it. It's fun, um, it's tingly, but do I think it's hydrating? No. I think the hydrating part about it is that it's not harsh, so it's not going to strip um, moisture from your face, but I wouldn't like say, you know, my face feels softer or more hydrated after I use it. It just doesn't feel any more dehydrated. Um, another one that I do not have anymore, and it was the greatest day when I finally used it all up and threw it away, it was the Aqua Beauty Primer Mist. Everybody has talked about this product, and everybody's right. Um, it has a 3.1 out of 5 stars on the website, and the sprayer on it was just garbage. The, um, e.l.f. primers in the little black bottles, and they also put the brush cleaner in those little black bottles. Those spray bottles are amazing. I keep all of them. Um, I refill them with, you know, just different things, especially in the summer, just even just to have like a thing of water to spray in my face while I'm, you know, out, you know, running errands or whatever. It's, it's great. But they decided to put it in this other bottle, this, you know, glass bottle, kind of, kind of like the moisturizing sleep mask, but with a spray on top and the mister was just garbage. So, um, that was $8 and like I said, it was the best day when I was finally through it and I was able to throw it away. Would not repurchase. Um, next, this is a makeup item, but it is technically skincare because it is the e.l.f. BB Cream. It is $3, and it's not, it's not great. I have 
expensive BB creams that are amazing that last all day. This does not last all day. But I do still continue to use this one. I used it in my um, full face using only e.l.f. products. And it was, it works just fine. You know, it covers, sort of. But um, I do keep this in a box of makeup that I have. Um, and I showed you that box in my uh, bathroom storage uh, video. I've talked about the fact that I don't have a ton of space for my makeup. So, you know, if I just need a little touch up here throughout the day or if, you know, I've been working around the house all day and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I need, you know, laundry detergent or whatever and I just need to run out and I just want to throw something on my face so I look kind of presentable and not like a homeless lady wandering through the store. Um, I have a small box of makeup that I keep in my bathroom and this is what's in there now. So I just throw that on and I can just run to the store and do whatever, do what I need to do. Um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Mask. I love keeping this in my refrigerator and it feels so good um, putting it on cold. It is rated 4.4 out of 5 stars. What's really cool about this is that you don't rinse this off. Um, it helps soothe nourish skin directions on clean, dry skin. Apply a thick, even layer all over your face and neck and chest. Allow masks to remain on the skin for 10 minutes to fully absorb wipe off with tissue mass massaging excess into the skin. So you don't wash this off when you're done. It's basically just like a really intensive moisturizer and that's exactly what it does. It's your skin feels softer, it feels more refreshed after you use it. And this is $12, absolutely would repurchase that again. And I am thinking, yeah, I am almost there. And I got two more for you. This, another e.l.f. tool, this is the Facial Massager for $4. I had this one before, I had to repurchase this one because it fell into my couch and it broke and it was the saddest day of my life. <laughs> but I wasn't going to reorder it on e.l.f.com, not for $6 shipping for a $4 product. So finally they had free shipping and I repurchased it and I just love this thing. It feels so relaxing on my face. I like to keep it next to my bed at night. And just before bed, just kind of roll it over my face and it just helps me relax. Also great for sheet masks. Um, rub it over your skin while you have the sheet mask on and helps push the serum into your skin to get the best benefits out of your sheet masks. Um, like I said, I have repurchased this. I love this for $4. I would repurchase it again and again and again. And luckily for $4, it's an item that I don't have to repurchase again and again and again unless it falls into my couch and breaks. <laughs> And then finally, the um, eye depuffer for three dollars. Um, again, this is another thing I keep in my refrigerator. So just before bed, if I'm feeling extra, you know, whatever, or when I get up in the morning and I look extra, um, just rub this on underneath my eyes, and it just cools and refreshes. It's got um, the little metal uh, doohickey on top. This is has a four st has four stars on on Elf. And I have repurchased this. I think this is like my maybe my third or fourth one. Uh, so really, really good product. Love that. And that is it. Those are all of my e.l.f. skincare products that I have tried to date. And I really haven't found any duds. Um, you know, the glitter mask, like I said, it's painful, but it works. The, you know, face wash, it's nothing special, but it works. So if you are just getting into skincare or if you, especially if you're young on the younger side and you're not worrying yet about wrinkles or, you know, you know, whatever you, whatever I've got going on now, getting into my thirties, elf skincare products are going to be right up your alley. You're going to love them. And that is all I have for you. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.